In today's video, we're going to be taking a look over the best Modern Warfare 3 settings for controller players, PC players, and console players. I'll be taking a look over the best in-game controller settings that will improve your gameplay, and I'll be showcasing the best settings that will give you the max FPS for the best quality of picture in-game. So if you do enjoy today's content, make sure to drop a big thumbs up, drop a sub on the channel to stay up to date with the best Modern Warfare 3 class setups for both multiplayer and warzone and one more thing g fuel is currently doing a black friday buy one get one free for any of the tubs on the website so make sure to go and check it out use code a's at checkout to save big on all g fuel purchases let's hop right into it so starting off the video we're going to be showcasing the best graphic settings this is for both my console and pc players obviously console players you guys are going to have less settings here but just follow with me so display mode you want to play on the full screen exclusive this will give you the max frame rate for the refresh time you want to put it on whatever your monitor i just have it set on auto so it pushes 270 out resolution whatever your monitor pushes whether that's 1080p or 1440 aspect ratio automatic you want to keep going down here to the nvidia low latency i have this set on on plus boost this will give you the max frames while decreasing the response delay between what you're clicking and what you're seeing on screen for the v-syncs you want to have this set on off for both of them they will actually be messing up your frame rate so have these set on off custom frame rate limit i have this set on 270 so whatever your monitor pushes out for the gameplay custom the menu i just have it set on 60. you don't want to torture your graphics card just whenever you're out in the game and in the main menu for the hdr you want to have this set on off this actually ruins the game more than benefit it moving on to the quality tab render resolution you want to have the set at 100 it goes with whatever monitor you have whether that's 1080 or 1440 upscaling i have this set on fidelity cast and then i have it set on 100 percent this just makes the game look much much sharper for the vram scale target you want to have the set on 90 this just makes sure your graphic card is pushing out whatever it can push out for the texture resolution i have this set on normal i know a lot of people play on very low however for me i rather have a little bit better visual game for a little less fps rather than all the way max fps so it kind of depends on what you want if you want a higher fps set this on very low for these two depth of field i have as off detail quality level I have this set on low particle resolution on very low bullet effects i have this set on off all right the other effects i also have a set on and off shader quality have this set on low increasing this will decrease your frames by a lot on demand texture streaming i haven't noticed any significant differences with this on or off so it kind of depends on what you want i have the set on on and then if you guys just want to see how much my catch size is there you go 32 okay local texture stream quality i have the sound low shadow quality very low space shadows off ambient sound off uh, space reflections have the sound off this actually decreases your frames a lot it's just a lot of mini details in game that you really don't need to notice moving down into the environment tessellation i have this set on near uh, a lot of people have it on off but i rather have a little bit better quality in game for a little bit less fps i wouldn't mind that at all moving down to the water quality i have this set on all however if you do want to save yourself a little bit extra frames and you want to see people in the water, what you want to put is actually the water caustics. This actually means that whenever you're above the water level, you could see through the water. So this is the setting that you do want if you're not going the all route. For the view tab, I have the FOV set on 120. I know there's a lot of rumors going around that, oh, if you do increase it more than 115, that you do lose aim assist. However, I don't think that's true. I'd rather see a little bit more. All right, so the 120 really helps me out. The ADS field of view, I have this set on affected. This makes it that you have less visual recoil. Moving down to the camera settings, all right, for the both the motion blurs for the world and the weapon, I have this set on off. The game won't look as cinematic. However, it will improve your gameplay by a ton because you won't get distracted by the blurriness and you won't know what's happening when you have the set on on. Film grain, have it set on zero. Camera movement, I have this set on least. This is just the camera shaking whenever you shoot your gun or getting shot at. So having this set on lease will actually make it seem that you do have less recoil. But that is it for the graphic settings. Moving on to the audio settings. You want to have your audio mix set on headphones or you want to have it set on home theater. This just gives you the best output. And then moving down to the speaker, I have this set on stereo, master volume. It kind of depends on what you like. These are my settings for the volumes. I have it set on 40 just because 
my audio system is a little bit different compared to other people and now this is the chunk of the video i know all my controls players were waiting for this so let's hop right into it for my controller settings have the input on controller for the button layout i do play on default because i use a battle beaver controller that has buttons on the back so that means i slide and jump with the back buttons but if you are using a default xbox or playstation 4 controller or ps5 controller you want to change this to the stick and move setting this will just allow you to mantle and jump using your right thumbstick and you could also change it to drop shot with those so you don't have to move your thumbsticks whenever you are in a gunfight bumper ping i have the set on off flipped i have the set on off if you play with a default controller have a set on but i do have mouse clicks as my r2 and l2 buttons so that is why i have it set on off controller vibration have this set on off i promise you you will improve your aim so much you don't understand how bad it is whenever you're getting shot at your controller shaking your hand you're trying to aim at the enemy or whenever you're shooting and the controller shaking you will mess up your aim turn this off it will take a little bit of time to get used to maybe like a week or two but you will thank me later i promise you the dead zone settings this is going to be different for every controller so you want to go down for the left thumbstick minimum all right you want to have this set on zero this is the only one that's going to be the same for everything because whenever you move you want to instantly move and you don't want to have to put extra pressure on your left thumbstick to, to walk back or forth or left or right so for the max stick i have it on 99 going to the right stick minimum this is dependent on what your controller is so if you are having stick drift that's crazy increase this until the stick drift stops and then that is the perfect dead zone for your controller moving down to the right stick max 99 the left trigger and right trigger these are the r2 l2 l1 r1 you want to have the sound zero you want to instantly be able to just click on the thing and it will instantly do whatever you want to do whether that's shoot or ads for the aiming i have this set on 6.6 six. this is what most of the pro players use i recommend starting at 6.6 six, increasing if you need to increase however i wouldn't go over the 10 increments because uh, at that point you are just trying to show off that oh i can shoot on a high sensitivity rather than shooting your enemies very very straight for the ads sensitivity multiplier i have it set on 0.85 if i had this set on one it would be the same 6.6 six sensitivity but i like doing those small micro adjustments on a lower sense whenever i'm ads in and trying to snap on people so i have it set on 0.85 going down to the response curve i have this set on dynamic this is just going to be the snappiest response curve for both my new players that are new to call of duty or my old heads that have been playing cod for years for the aim assist type i have this set on default a lot of people have been saying that black ops might have a little bit more aim assist that is false Default is the best aim assist for Modern Warfare 3, so make sure to set your aim assist on default and make sure to have the aim assist turned on. This is our legal aimbot for all my controller players. This is our legal aimbot. Lastly, for the gameplay, I have it set on automatic tactical sprint. That just saves my controller. I, I don't like clicking my right button whenever I am running, so I have it set on that. Tactical sprint behavior on double tap. For the slide behavior, if you are trying to slide cancel, change the setting to slide only. You will be hitting your slide cancels much, much faster and easier. Moving down into the slide cancel sprint, you want to have this set on on. This will improve your slide canceling a ton. Whenever you do click circle, all right, you could cancel your sprint. That is basically what it's saying. So you want to have that set on on so you can slide cancel it efficiently that was it for the model warfare complete settings we went over the graphic settings for my console pc players we went over the audio settings we went over the controller settings for all of my controller players so i hope you guys did enjoy today's video once again if you do enjoy this type of content and are excited for the new war zone and want the best class setups and whatnot make sure to drop a big sub on the channel drop a thumbs up on today's video leave a comment down below let me know how i did and what you want to see out of me but that is all i have i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day i'll catch you guys later peace out